Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me over Q1 of the weekly contest 284. Find all K distant indexes in an array. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Find your K Discord in my array. I don't know. I got nothing about that one. But join my Discord is what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, for, for this one, um, I, I think, so there are two ways you can do it. One is uh, the linear algorithm. The other is quadratic. I actually took about three minutes on this one because... I, I don't know. I think I just had trouble reading and parsing. This is like the way they wrote these problems are very um, mathematical. So I, I kind of got confused a little bit of how to read it. So if you watch me solve it live during the contest, uh, which is happening next, you'll see kind of like just a lot of confusion and stuff like that. But but really, um, there are two ways to do it. Like I said, there's a linear time one and then there's a quadratic one. Um, and and yeah, uh, and that's pretty much the idea, really. Um, and the, the linear one, you just go from left to right and then right to left and then find the key and then add its neighbors. Um, and then for the quadratic one, you can just, for every time you find a key, you add the neighbors for the K. And of course, given that K is less than N and stuff like this, this will be fast enough because it's just N squared, right? Um, the way that I did it is the left to right uh, thing. So, uh, you know, I use a set. You don't really need a set. You need uh, you could use this in an array, and then you add it here, and then you do like um, like if you if you really want to do it in a true linear way, you can have an array. You add it from left to right. You add it to right to left, and then you kind of merge them in linear time. So you can definitely do that. There are a couple of ways you can do that merge. Um, I don't know why I did it linear during the the contest. I guess I was just a little I don't know, but um, but yeah, that said, I did lie a little bit in that. Instead of merging it in in a linear time, I do merge it in a sorting kind of way. So, you know, this is actually n log n, but uh, but yeah, but definitely try to upsolve it in linear time. Uh, I imagine a lot of people did it in n square because I did it kind of slowly on the reading, and I was like, eh, I already have the idea. Why not? But yeah, uh, so that's Q one. Uh, that's all I have for this one. Uh, like I said, this is linear time, linear space. You can do this. Oh, sorry. Well, this is n log n linear space, but you can do this in linear time, linear space. Um, and of course, I imagine a lot of people just do it in quadratic space because, oh, sorry, quadratic time because n squared is fast enough. Um, so definitely, you yeah, know, yeah. Um, yeah, you could watch me solve a live during the contest. Next. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is such a reading thing. Okay, distance. What? I cannot read this. This is such. Okay. I. Okay, so that means that given it's just stuff that's next to it. Okay, fine. Mm, okay. This is such an awkward reading problem. I don't know if this is right. 
Yeah, okay, fine. So, two. So, it goes one here, this goes to zero. Maybe. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Uh, but more importantly, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see you later and next time. Bye-bye.